Jesus says, Shouldn't you seek my will alone? I always want what's best for you. May 9th, 2017 Words from Jesus through Sister Claire Spoken by Jackie Jesus began, My dear brides, I want what is best for you, always, every day, every moment. It is what I know will lead to your greatest happiness and holiness, and that's why I guide you away from certain things. Please trust me in this. I do know what's ahead. I know what traps have been stretched out beneath your feet and covered over under the guise of doing good for others. Trust me, please, trust me, that if I don't allow you something, it is for a very good reason, and if you persist in wanting it, it will be to your detriment. Truly, the gift of healing is present and in operation in many of you. Should you therefore take two steps backward and seek help from the creation when the Creator is working directly through you? Yes, I made plans for a medicine, even on earth, but it is my grace working through creation that brings relief. My grace is greater than the physical reality of plant chemistry, and I can do with my grace things that mystify and defy science to explain. So, should you not seek my will and my grace alone? This teaching is not for all, it is a hard saying, but for you who consistently dwell in my heart and have seen consistent results in prayer, I wish for you to cleave to me alone and stay away from the world. And this extends to whatever vice and attachment you may have, be it things of the earth or relationships or knowledge. I know what is best for you, Learn to renounce yourself in all things and trust me without question. I see your destinies clearly and I also see the devil's plans to derail you along the way. But I will warn you through your conscience if you will but listen very carefully. I will tell you the plans of the wicked and how to defeat them if you cleave to me with all your hearts, and no matter what they plan to entrap you, I will steer you around those dangerous shoals and places where you will run aground in your life, places where great damage and delay will occur, or you may even be shipwrecked and sink into the mire. Trust me in this. Circumcise your hearts and head towards the goals I have set for your life, without deviation, without curiosity, without the need to know more or to try this or to try that. You don't see it, but your curiosity is used to entangle you. Your goodwill is used to take you off course from the greater good I've ordained in your lives. Be very leery of any direction that takes you off that course. You can be sure the enemy has discovered your destination and he will do anything to cause you to deviate only a degree on your journey of life and you will completely miss your target and even pass it because your navigation is off only one degree. How do you know you are digressing? That still small voice inside is nudging and nagging you. Every time you move to make a commitment in the wrong direction, I set off alarms in your conscience. But if you are very attached to that, you will reason with those alarms. But this will help. I want to do good to others. They need this. I need this. But, but, but. When you hear this kind of conversation going on with the interior man, you can be sure you are trying to justify something I do not want you to have. Alarm, big alarm. Repent, 
turn around and return to the simple path I have already laid out for you.